What the fuck? Just tell boss. Do what you can. Huh? I don't care what you do. Just do DPS and don't die. I have Arm. no snow gloves, so. Yep. All DPS on boss. He's on, he's on cap. He's on cap. We're at 10%. Do I need time to move? The full DPS on weak points. Don't stop. Oh. Don't res. Don't yeah, res. Full, full DPS on boss. Do not yep. stop. We have I'll to do it fast. Me. Oh, what happened? How did this happen? Oh, ah. Sorry, my bad. Fuck, Why? I thought we had... I didn't see that we still were out of uh, res. Uh, oh, that's a... yeah. shit. Okay. I didn't see DPS when we get him phased. Oh, there goes the cannon. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. I'm getting a little frustrated, so do me a favor and just call me out your damages, like your DPS. Almost 60 million. Oh, 60? Why the fuck you had 60? Fair play, dude. That was the first kill. Is he calling you? Um, uh, no. I thought I saw him face out. DPS, DPS, full, full. I'm full, lagging full. hard. Now I understand what are you talking about, man. That's a server thing. I'm down. Full DPS, full I, DPS. I just, do not, do not res. No resting, no resting. Yeah, just DPS. I'm done. Go ahead. It's Got fine, it's mm. fine. I have it, I have it, I have it. Nice. Damn, that was so close. If we died here, that would have been... <laughs> Me going on a smoke break if we died here. <laughs> Hi, Descendants. Welcome to another video. Today, I'm just going to give you a few tips and tricks that you can apply in your fights against the Glutony. Um, I just want to share a few things that I've learned uh, from our tries. You've seen in the beginning of the video, we had a few fails. We actually had a lot of fails, but we also managed to kill the boss a few times. And we've learned a lot of this fight. So in this video, I'm just going to share my thoughts about the fight. I hope these help you out that you can actually use in your boss fights and improve your time fighting this boss. So over here, we got him into the first stage where... We got his left shoulder to a yellow stage. We jumped on the, on the shoulder, we blow it up, we got the boss on his knees and we do a first stage of full DPS. The golden rule over here is what you want to pay attention to is if you blow up the left shoulder, try to focus the left kneecap. Tell this to your friend, tell this to your team. This way you will have organized DPS and you'll be able to go from one stage to another stage. Now, if you do get down, there is no worry about this. That's not, not the, the end of the fight. Don't immediately get up, wait and communicate with your team saying, all right, can you get me up? One key thing to, to, to pay attention to over here is whoever is resting, whoever is resting, make sure that the boss is not targeting you. If the boss is targeting you, this is going to be a big problem because you will end up dying both. And this is eventually going to get you to a stage that you will need to reset the fight. To the person to, who is resting or to the person who is on the ground, always pay attention to if the boss is targeting any one of you or is looking in your direction. If this happens, cut the rest, don't res him up immediately, wait for the boss to switch focus or something like this. It is crucial so you don't wipe the team. Now, let's talk about a few things that we have on screen over here. So the boss generally has a wipe mechanic. Probably if you've experienced this already. When his arm fully fills up over here, he has these uh, glass bars over here. Once they fill up or full with pink or purple liquid, uh, he initiates the wipe mechanic. In order to get him off the wipe mechanic and not to avoid it, you want these ice spheres to actually hit the boss. So you have 
a few ice machines you have a few ice machines positioned through the map they're always in the same place so what you want to do is you want to position behind these and you want to start shooting those ice balls in the air towards the boss that's the whole thing that you need to do if you're a vobby you have a your first skill is actually um you know made to suck in all the balls and send them directly to the boss super easily if you're any other descendants you will have to do it the way i just showed you so over here we got the boss to a second stage where the other shoulder just was about to blow up and we got him on the ground we're fully focusing on the right kneecap and now we destroyed most of his his big weak points and we just need to finish him off now another mistake that i highly recommend you try to avoid is my positioning right here right now i was super close to the boss i was super laser focusing his kneecaps and weak points but he already got up and the moment he gets up he actually tries to swipe in front of him and this is what hit me twice in this boss fight so i highly encourage you learn from other people's mistake like mine and don't stand in front of the boss when he's about to stand up now when he gets into an immunity phase from there on it's actually pretty easy it's again the ball game you need to go towards the ice machines and you want to shoot ice spheres and the ice the frost balls towards the boss now you will see the purple ones show up occasionally those are really crucial to this stage to get him out of the immunity phase and the, in order to understand how this works is when you actually have a purple a purple ball connect with two frost balls and you pop them in near proximity to the boss you actually get him out of the immunity phase so what you want to do is have something like this there is a purple one connected with a white one another white one and if someone actually blows up this one over here this is actually going to help us get towards getting him out of the immunity phase so this is the whole game you want to actually not shoot the purple balls when they're flying on single like this or they have no connection with other yellow ones and stuff like this all you want to do is always try to shoot the white balls in this direction and this will happen super easily now in this last stage we were just went super uh you know that's that's already uh, another dps check over here but here he does one more mechanic that you need to pay attention to and it is exactly these ice spheres flying around on his level that's why rolling off to a lower level or hiding behind a pillar is more than enough you kind of can see when this mechanic is about to happen so as you can see like i did i just rolled away and it was more than enough for me i did experience a little bit of server lag and he was focusing me here in the end that's why i ended up dying but we actually managed to kill him which is great now you will get in fights like this you will not always have a perfect fight but always try to follow the same steps and same priorities with your team now in public games this is going to be way more difficult to do obviously it will be a much more bigger improvisation and everyone will be improvising but if in general the community kind of understands the whole situation about this boss and what you need to do in what order this is going to be way more easier in the end of the day most cases it's just common sense so just follow what everyone else is doing try to avoid the wipe mechanic try to get him out of the immunity phase as soon as possible and you'll be good to go with this boss he's not difficult you don't need a gazillion amounts of damage you just need good coordination i highly recommend you do this in a community with people on that's why i really really recommend you guys just join our discord and you'll be able to find people to do the boss with if not i wish you just good luck and i hope this video helped you out i'll see you in the next one